This is Gavrilo Princip, the guy who triggered World War I. In June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary was assassinated, and this set a chain of events that ultimately led to the outbreak of World War I. And this is how it happened. So, Franz Ferdinand, the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, and his wife, Sophie, were assassinated in Sarajevo, Bosnia, by Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb nationalist. The assassination was carried out by members of the Black Hand, a secret organization seeking independence for South Slavic peoples from Austro-Hungarian rule. Despite some concessions, Serbia rejected several key demands of the ultimatum, prompting Austria-Hungary to declare war on Serbia on July 28, 1914. Serbia's ally, Russia, began mobilizing its forces in response to the Austrian declaration of war. Germany, Austria-Hungary's ally, pledged its full support to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Germany saw an opportunity to assert its dominance in Europe and viewed the conflict as a chance to strengthen its position against its rivals, particularly France and Russia. If I want a war, then I will have it. As Russia mobilized its forces to support Serbia, Germany issued an ultimatum demanding that Russia demobilize within 12 hours. When Russia refused to comply, Germany declared war on Russia on August 1, 1914. Germany's invasion of neutral Belgium on August 4, 1914, to bypass French defenses, triggered British intervention. Britain, bound by treaty obligations to defend Belgian neutrality, declared war on Germany, marking the entry of the British Empire into the conflict. The conflict in Europe soon expanded into a global war as other countries joined the fray. The Central Powers, led by Germany and Austria-Hungary, faced off against the Allied Powers, including France, Britain, Russia, and later, the United States. The war on the Western Front devolved into a brutal stalemate characterized by French warfare, with neither side able to gain a decisive advantage. The conflict resulted in unprecedented levels of casualties and destruction, reshaping the geopolitical landscape of Europe and the world. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand served as the catalyst for a series of diplomatic and military actions that ultimately plunged Europe into the deadliest conflict it had ever seen. If you like history, subscribe.